What up guys, it's The Fighting Therapist here and for today's video in episode 4 of the series we're going to talk about how many reps should you be doing for gains, for hypertrophy gains. So before we start the video guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button also because the more likes I get on this video, the more views I get, the more YouTube algorithm switches everything. And don't forget down and below the first link is going to be my newsletter guys. If you sign up to the newsletter, you're going to get everything first come first serve. So like I said before in the other videos, you'll get the information first come first serve in your email box and then I'll be making this video with more in-depth explanation roughly a month to a month and a half later. So you guys should subscribe. So is 8 to 12 reps really the answer for a hypertrophy and strength gains i'm gonna say yes but let me explain why there's always a range when it comes to reps when it comes to strength training endurance and hypertrophy so usually that's anywhere between i'd say three to five reps all the way up to 50 plus reps a lot of programs and strength and hypertrophy programs strength slash hypertrophy programs have the tendency to stick between eight to 12 reps but if we're going to take into a factor that our number one goal is hypertrophy, then we're going to have to take into consideration for three things. So for hypertrophy, we're going to want metabolic stress, we're going to want mechanical load, and we're going to want eccentric contractions, right? So this is like taking a bicep curl and then going down slowly. This is like taking a bench press and going down slowly. That would be the uh, eccentric contractions. Now to cut each down, metabol uh, mechanical load is going to be what you would progress to each week in a six weeks program, let's say. So week one, we're going at 80%, week two, we're going at 82%, week three, 85%, and so on and so forth. So we're always increasing the weight. So you're mechanically loading the exercise you're doing so you can do more each week and every week, right? Now for eccentric training, we're going to stick anywhere between six to 12 reps, right? So we're not in between that eight to 12, but now we're going down to six to 12 but we're really focusing on that time under tension and time under tension. And then we're also really focusing on elongating that muscle while contracting it, sticking at a comfortable tempo that's really gonna tear that muscle fiber so you guys can produce more strength. So eccentric training usually gives you more uh, soreness and more DOMS, right? But that is one way to elicit hypertrophy. And the second one's gonna be metabolic stress. Now, a lot of people don't take this into a factor when they're constructing their programs and metabolic stress is really gonna be that burn. So you ever do like a drop set, a drop set, a super set, um, occlusion training on the bicep or quads. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, the link's right here. I do post videos of what I do when, I, when it comes to my quads, my calves, my biceps. So I do occlusion training and you're looking at 50 plus reps at the total end of the exercise to still elicit hypertrophy gains, right? So when it comes to that, the number of eight to 12 isn't just that narrow there's a wide range of reps that you could be doing for hypertrophy right when it comes to strength that's a different story when it comes to muscular endurance that's a different story but if we're going to talk about just hypertrophy on its own the rep ranges is a lot wider than people think typically 8 to 12 is what's recommended it's what's followed it's what's in programs but I personally suggest that you guys take that range a little wider, incorporate each. So a little example could be Monday, you would do an eight to 10 rep range. On Wednesday, you would do more like a 12 or 15 to 20 rep range. And then on, let's say a Friday, if you're doing a three day split, you would do more of like the 20 plus, right? So we're doing that more metabolic stress, more endurance type training. So putting all three together is gonna give you guys the best chance to elicit as much hypertrophy as you can within a given program. That's about it. Super simple, super fast. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more to come. Okay, so stay tuned for episode five, six, seven, eight, all the way until 12 when I'm gonna finish just this January series. And uh, that's it. It's your boy, that's it, Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow.